Good afternoon. Welcome back to Fuzzy's place. I'm actually pretty excited today. So, some of the people that uh, around the forums have been following the little saga of a uh, razor I've been waiting on. I bought it off eBay and then there wasn't any contact at all for like a week and I got really worried and whatever. Made it in today. This is a uh, Superior. I'm going to say 1900-ish. Could be later than that. Um, I'll find out better on dating it. I had a uh, 1911 uh, Jim Jr. that looked a lot like this, so this could be a later model than a uh, text message. This could be a later model than 1900, but uh, anyway, it's early 1900s anyway it goes. This one actually, I'm dating it that early because uh, it actually came with the original wedge blade, which I've cleaned up, I've stropped a few times. Uh, it came with the, uh, it's got both pieces of the handle, the stropping attachment that goes on the, uh, the bottom of the handle so you can slide the blade in and use a strop. This is a, a strop that was made buddy of mine had it made it's uh, the Valley Auto strop and it works on the ever ready stropper but anyway uh, the whole thing was there looks to be in really good shape I've cleaned it up over the last 30 minutes this thing literally hit the door 30 minutes ago uh, we're going to use some Colgate cup soap now the story behind that is that uh, I decided I had to have a superior like this because one of my uh, shave buddies Ken has one true story and he had sent me this Colgate cup soap at one time because he doesn't like it. You know, some people can't use. Anyway, so uh, we're going to pair that up with the uh, Jara 176 handle with the big old Omega bore knot on it. And then we'll see what we finish it up with here. Alright, so what we're going to do, just because I've gone I don't think the wedge blade will shave. I think it needs to go out and be honed. But after stropping it, I decided to give it a chance. So we're going to start. I don't expect it to work. I could be surprised. I'd be okay if I was. You know, I'd be okay with that. We just got a one day over one day growth here. But we're going to start with the wedge blade in and uh, see what it feels like and even if it's uh, you know as long as it's shaving some we'll leave we'll run a whole pass with it or whatever and then it'll go to my buddy Tom out in California who can hone it up nice for me I'm also going to send out a blade to my uh, my 1902 Camp Brothers star and that blade's kind of rough but maybe he can save it and sharpen it and then we'll have a couple of wedge blade shaves going which I have never had never shaved with the actual wedge blade in, in one of these razors it's supposed to be really nice though is what everybody keeps telling me so we're gonna see alright kind of excited today this the old cup soap now this is a uh, Colgate cup soap they had cup soap mug soap and barbershop so the barbershop came in the, the round sleeves I've got some of those and then the cup soap I believe came before the mug soap I can't tell a lot of difference in any of them it's all vintage stuff now it hasn't been made in quite a while the cup soap and the bar I've seen advertisements for the barbershop soap from 1917 so it's been made a long time I don't know exactly how long but it's been around a couple of minutes and uh, then they had the cup soap. But anyway, this is cup soap. And it's getting to be a little bit, I don't know, it's getting to be harder to find. It's harder to find than the mug soap. Let's put it that way. And uh, I'm just getting started here. So a couple of sips of coffee. We'll get us going. So the Superior. With a wedge blade that I don't expect to work. Let's see what we get. And I uh, was right. Well, I don't 
don't know. We're going to run a whole pass with the wedge. By golly. I can see where it's cutting hair. I can see some in the bowl that's not tugging. That actually felt like a really good pass right there. I don't see any major uh, difference in the angle between uh, the wedge blade and the uh, putting in a regular blade. Razor has a little bit different feel because the, the wedge blade is heavier. And I don't think that's hurting anything. You know, that's actually doing pretty well. I, I, I yeah. I think we're going to get actually get a shave out of this thing. Isn't it that wonderful? Boy, I'm excited about that. Hey, look how cool that looks. I mean, seriously. That has got to be the coolest thing. I mean, a frozen three-eyed catfish ain't that cool. What am I telling you, man? Look at that. This is awesome. Especially see is how I was whining at one point because I wasn't real sure I was going to get it because I didn't get any communication for like a week seriously and what had happened was of course she went on Christmas and forgot to uh, put her away sign up on her whole shop yeah, as usual you have to just put up with the noise you know looking down in the sink here you can definitely see this thing is doing its, its job and it's uh eating around This big old chin. Oop, alarm. Just missed that. I just need to get up. It actually is uh, doing pretty fair. We a little bit more water while we get our next uh, lather. Now, like I said the other day, you don't always have to clean the, the lather off between passes. You can leave it on. All right, there. We're going to do that today. Boy, I'm excited here. I paid a... Uh, not a whole lot for the razor. It's just not as much as I paid for some others, but it was a it was the upper end of what I would want to pay for a set like this. But if I'd have known <laughs> I would explain this a bit, I'd definitely paid more if they wanted it, but I'm glad I didn't have to. This is awesome. Alright, second pass. We're just gonna leave the wedge in there. We're gonna make it a wedge shave. Bye golly. Don't scare me. Yeah, don't scare me at all. I'll hit it on the old shop some more. I didn't run it but about, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 times. And I mean, people that do this all the time would probably tell you you need to strop it more. But I wasn't really, to be honest expecting a thing to work this good this is actually a uh, I tell you what it feels like it feels like a blade and a an SC one of them uh one of them coated stainless steel things on about shave two just before they've actually really smoothed out If you ever use those, you know the first couple of shaves, it gets the job done, but it definitely feels kind of rough. If you have that problem, switch over to a carbon steel blade, you won't have that problem. Of course, with a carbon steel, you got to uh, dry on. I've never found that to be an issue. Yeah. Little bit, uh, oh, there we go. Not getting as good around my chin as I, uh, 
Snowly wood. I could have, you know, I'm sure that's all technique driven. I'll figure it out. So we'll see what it does on a touch up pan. But look at that. <laughs> Two passes with a uh, wedge blade. That's not bad. Not bad at all. But with the overall finish there, I think we're going to send it out to be honed up. And we got a decent reduction, got a decent shave. We had a lot of fun with it. But let's finish up. I will show you how. Uh, push that up there. It's got a tab in the back here. I can get, I can get my finger and the tab comes down and the blade comes off. And we'll clean that all up. So what we're going to do, we're going to finish up with this new power blade. If I wasn't going to work tonight, I would probably leave it like it is, to be honest. So, once again, when you get these blades in, uh, be sure that not only are they against the stops up front in these old razors, but be sure that they're also not sticking out the edge. They can slide side to side, and trust me, it leaves a scar. And uh, so I've heard. Don't ask me how I know. I'll, uh, I'll lie to you. All right, so we're going to do our catch-up cleanup pass with that one. But I just want to say that even as it is, I could leave this shave like it is, and I could be okay. But since I'm going to work and I'm kind of retentive about that, we're going to do the cleanup with a new blade in it. All right. And then the next time we shave with that blade, it'll have come back from its uh, visit to sunny California. All right. So let's see how it feels with a new power blade. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the ticket right there, I'm telling you. And we're going to do a full... ...pass here instead of just the cleanup. Cause it... Alright. Oops, got out of camera, sorry about that. Oh yeah, that feels good to you. I'm telling you, these old leather catchers are awesome. Well, that cleaned everything up nicely. Well, we got to be sure it didn't clean that good. Well, there we have it. Early 1900s. Heck, I'll call it 1900 because it, it is a wedge blade, so it's not a, a later 1900. It's it's an early 1900. Uh, superior lather catcher. I'm going to call that good stuff. Alright, well y'all have a good day. It's uh, around 40 degrees and raining again here today. I'm going to be doing that throughout the night. So. And it's going to be getting cooler. It's cooler for Baton Rouge anyway. I know there's places out there that got snow that's not so cool. But anyway, I'll quit plathering on. Have a good day. Happy shaves.